afternoon, good evening. It's a beautiful yeah, evening yeah, now yeah, downtown yeah. Atlanta in the Live Hip Hop Daily Studios. I'm Terrell Thomas. Brandon Trish. And as usual, we're here to talk the biggest and best in sports and entertainment as these Urban Times on Live Hip Hop Daily presents Sideline Stories. How you feeling today, good sir? What's going on, man? Another week, man. Another week. Another man. week. It's definitely, it, the week started off with a bang on Sunday as we went out to ABL and did our thing. Once again, shout out to the entire ABL team. Shout and out y'all to y'all did y'all Shout out to Craig and uh, Terrell. Y'all did y'all thing. I was yeah, proud. Was like a proud father. I ain't mad at that. I ain't <laughs> mad at that. You know, the, 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 the instant replay and, and what everybody's seen. We we definitely went out there and, 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 and did the thing. So shout definitely out to John and everybody that came and sat down and spoke with us once again. But it's a lot to talk about as we dive into Thursday night. We'll get mm-hmm. into some football later on because the football best. is officially underway. No more weekends till February without some foosball. The hometown yes. Atlanta Falcons are actually taking uh, on. I mean, okay, it's still that. the hometown. They're not our, it's not our team, but it's our hometown. Uh, okay, our, yeah. our hometown right. Atlanta Falcons are taking on the Denver Broncos in Canton, Ohio right now. For the NFL Hall of, Fame. Hall of Fame game. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But we're going to talk about some B-ball. We're going to dive right into some yeah, basketball yeah, yeah. and talk about some things that are going on in the NBA because although NBA action isn't currently underway, there's still moves taking place in free agency, of course. We will be getting ready to see Team USA ball in the next coming weeks, so we'll talk about that eventually down the line. But there's still some notable free agents who are remaining who mm-hmm. and who are out there on the block. So, of course, there were some names you were talking about in J.R. Smith, My Vince dog. Carter, Jeremy Lin. We saw him recently. He had an emotional moment talking about, of course, He's still real. wanting to be in the NBA. Yeah, I, th- I, thought, that, I thought that was very real as well. Uh, Carmelo Anthony. Of course, Trey Burke is on the list, but since Trey Burke has signed with the Philadelphia 76ers. So talk to me, man. I know there's something that's been on your heart and on your mind about what exactly some, some notable free agents that... Hey, hey man. It's the it's the disrespect that's still going on, man. The disrespect going on with Melo. It's disrespect. Okay, it's, look, we know he ain't Carmelo anymore. I mean, he ain't Melo anymore. That? He ain't Melo anymore. Now he's Carmelo, you know. So I think it's he can help somebody. Okay. Like like you got you got any particular team in mind? I said Philly. I thought that before, but their roster looks pretty steep right now. I, mean, I, I yeah, thought I thought Philly. I definitely got, thought I mean, Philly. Outside of the bench, you got <coughs> Mike and Trey. You got uh, Kyle Quinn, and who else? What about like a Miami possibly down there with Jimmy Buckets? That's that's not bad either. They get they got their up their upcoming team. Jimmy, uh, they'll definitely get him in shape because Pat Riley don't play that. So I can see D Wade. You don't know, send a vouch for his boy. You know, something like that. Miami, we everybody thinking L. A. They still hold Go to Charlotte, MJ. Bring it, bring, bring no, it. No, don't. I mean, we we you want put up all the shots you want. You go to Charlotte. No, nah, we want Melo to be on a contender. Or something. I mean, I respect that, but if you get no, I I, I want him to be on a contender too. But I'm just I'm, I'm thinking the teams where he can still kind of do do so his where, thing. So where is since the Lakers are keeping that roster spot open still, since they try to keep hope alive for Iggy, which I don't see that happening. Yeah, I don't see that happening either. Brian, go ahead and make the call because ain't nobody else out there. That would be a good fit. Go ahead, go, go ahead and go Melo because we don't see the JR route going going that way again. Now I can see JR with the Sixers. I said the Sixers or Houston. It really depends on Melo, man. Melo just got to just understand his role. Jay I, I think he, I If think he, he got his role, like, I mean, if he get out of his mind, he'll, he'll be I think cool. he's came to, to the realization that, you know, hey, man, look, I need to go ahead, come on, uh, come off the bench, play these 18 to 20 minutes. Get my 12 to 14 possibly, and I'm good. He, he got a, I think he came to that realization that the NBA is, you know what I'm saying, slowly passing him by. So if you want to still get with the program, you got to change the mindset. So I think he did that. Because we see, we see him still putting up buckets. I, don't care. I, don't, I know it's open run, but still, he's still getting the bucket. He can do that better than most people in the league right now. So Who, who, who are some other cats that you could possibly see? Of course, Jamal uh, Crawford still out there on the Jamal, block as well. Jamal could definitely help a contender. I mean, even though Jamal is – 62 years old. So I think. Uh, the game down? Yeah, turn the game down, bro. Hey, man. I'm going to try to hit those Stank Falcons. Uh, <laughs> Jamal could definitely help somebody. I think uh, Houston. Maybe the Lakers, they don't go that route. Who else is a contender? Philly. Uh, maybe. I would say Milwaukee, but they just picked up Kyle Corver. Uh. Uh. Boston, possibly. And you still got Shump, who played who played well in uh in Houston, even though he was playing with Dan Tony. Limited minutes. Limited minutes, but he, he still was he was being effective in the playoffs. 
He could definitely be a big help, a two-way player who needs some defense, who could get some scoring. Kenneth Reed, he played extremely well for Houston. I don't know what Dan Tony was doing in the playoffs, not playing him, but, you know, that's Dan Tony. <laughs> so, I think Fareed could help a contender. I think, you know, we all know the top dogs. The Clippers, probably, because they need a big. If they don't go to the white route, which I think he can help them. Patrick Patrick uh, Patterson is going to sign with the Clippers. He's going to meet Clippers? Clippers. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what. Well, well, okay. Well, see, and he'll be he'll be signing with Clippers. the Clippers. Well, that was a good pickup. And then another uh, another big spread the floor out. But so much for that. The white train. I'll think about. <laughs> that's probably going. Uh, Joe Kim Noah. I, um, he's in the twilight of his, of his career. He's definitely he's definitely twilight. Melo's having a hard time getting a roster spot. Joe Kim. I mean, he got one with Memphis last year. He played okay. Yeah, yeah. The Hawks yeah. are waiting on Vince Carter. Atlanta has a reserve spot for Vince Carter if he chooses to return. Of course they do. I mean, that's not news. That's not we uh, knew. But as if if Vince was to come back or he wants to, I don't think he's ring. He's not ring chasing. I think he should go ahead and go back to uh, Toronto. And last year, nah. Nah, Why not? I think if if he gonna do if he not gonna ring chase stay with the Hawks if you know if you because he wants to be a broadcaster as we see he's still close to Turner continue to help these young cats develop you know add to your legacy and whatnot yeah. why go to Toronto I dig now Toronto will be a playoff team but I don't think they'll be a serious contender you know and they're the Hawks no of course that's what I'm saying I'm just saying like well why go to Canada and do all that for a year you can have that fair road tour right here in Atlanta. But it won't really be a farewell tour for real because it won't be genuine because he – It'll be for genuine. Him. Hawks fans, he, he's beloved, as you know. Vince yeah, Carter's beloved out here. For a year. But they he, love he, Vince. He ain't as big as he is in Canada. No, nah, that's the, that's real. Once again, the, the Kawhi factor, he has a whole country. I respect that. Well, you see, Kawhi left that country in the dust as well. So Vince did too. But still, that was <laughs> – yeah, that, that was a long time. You know, times, you know, wounds have healed and all that. So, I think he, if, he go, go, if he's not going to come back here – I think he's do go to Toronto and, and you know do the one way, one year farewell. Get your rocking chairs and all that, all the Canadian money that you want to get, the co- uh, the Vincent dying, all that. So I think he go that route if he go if he doesn't come back to the Hawks. Speaking on the Atlanta Hawks, the Atlanta Hawks recently had some big moves with their G League team with the College Park Skyhawks. Yeah. The College Park Skyhawks will be kicking off their season soon. You can actually purchase tickets for this, this upcoming inaugural season that will take place in College Park with the College Park Skyhawks. But they made big, big moves naming Tory Miller their assistant general manager. <laughs> Tory Miller has been named the assistant general manager. So we got to give up to the black girl magic or black woman magic that's taking place with this young young lady being promoted to such a prominent position now. The Atlanta Hawks announced earlier this week the promotion of Tory Miller to assistant GM of the College Park Skyhawks, the Atlanta Hawks NBA G League affiliate. Miller spent the last two seasons as the manager of basketball operations for the team, including time with the Airy Bayhawks. Now, the Bayhawks were, of course, the, the G League Julie team Jean. before the Skyhawks actually mm-hmm. came down to College Park. So also, shout out to our man 2 Chain because he has ownership in that College Park he, he team as well. He owns this out there, as we said. Uh, it, it also says that Miller, she also spent time working for the Phoenix Suns. She's worked in various positions. But you, of course, uh, as someone who spent, who was born, literally born into the Hawks organization, you've known Tory for a very long time. Yeah. What, are your, what are your thoughts on one, of course, the Hawks continuing to show woman empowerment, uh, empowering this African-American woman to this dope position where we'll get to see her, you know, shine and excel mm-hmm. in College Park. And just knowing her, you know, seeing her growth in her career, what are your thoughts on it? Hey, for real, I was shocked because when I saw it, I was like, I said, hold on, why are face looking familiar? I said, Tori said, oh, I don't want it because we kind of lost touch stuff, you know, growing up from mm-hmm. our days at the uh, Hawks camps and stuff, Dion Glover camp and all that when, back, in, uh, back in those days. I was, yeah, legend, you know, I was shocked. I was like, that's a, that's a huge move for her, moving to, uh, to the assistant GM role. I didn't know she was with the Phoenix, well, with the Sun for, for, for a minute. So that's definitely a big move. You know, like we said, as we see, there's more women getting in those prominent roles. Yeah, she started in the G, in the G League. Like we see, uh, she can work away from there, probably go to the GM role. And then who knows what can happen. She might get a, a front office position in the league. Because we see that that's, that's slowly fast and uh, definitely, changing. Definitely, exactly, definitely. Exactly, with Swing Cash getting M- up. NBA being very proactive exactly. as far as women empowerment exactly, and putting women in key positions to lead. Whether it be coaching or coaching, an reffing. executive roles, reffing as well, yep. yeah. So it's going to be a matter of time for for somebody to get you know one of these huge positions, president of basketball operations, something like that. It's going to be 
I think it's going to happen within the next, I would say three years, maybe sooner than that. But, hey, man, I'm definitely proud of uh, Tory. Big ups, man. Big ups. Hey, once again, hey, Tory Miller. Hey, bro, man. Hey. Big ups to hey, Tory, if you, need somebody to help, if you need somebody, you know what I'm saying, to help out with anything, you know what I'm saying, you can always shout us out. <laughs> help, hey, help a brother out, you know what I'm saying. Hey, I know my little one, you know, my one, two in this basketball world, man. Now, like, we're we going to talk a little pig skin for a second, you know. Yeah. We already know. That the Eagles will be winning the NFC East. We know that. We know they'll be down. We, you know, we know that they'll be representing the NFC in the Super Bowl in Miami. We know. We know these things already. But there are some things taking place in the NFC East that are pretty notable yeah, no. right now. Uh, Ezekiel Elliott and the Dallas Cowboys seem to be on two different worlds right now. Literally, right now, they're two, in two different, different countries. countries. They're in two different countries. Two different hot spots of the world. One's in Cabo in, in Mexico, and the other they're in the, in the California uh, Irvine area. Now Zeke wants to be paid. The Cowboys, of course, have an issue because although it's one star on a helmet, there are three stars who are currently looking to get big deals. Well, we know about the stars on the defensive side of the ball, but first the new the new so called triplets they and Dak no Zeke they and Amari Cooper. Facts: They haven't won anything, but it's Dallas, so you know a lot of hoopla comes with anything that takes place in the Lone Star State or anything that Jerry Jones is involved in. Zeke wants to be paid. Jerry, Jerry Jones already made a very bold stance letting it be known that you don't need an elite workhorse style running back to win a Super Bowl. This is true. Me personally, I think that's not true. I think that's false. I think that's ad. And if you look at the last three Super Bowl runners, the reason the, the reason y'all didn't win a Super Bowl is because y'all didn't run that ball. Didn't have a, a workhorse running back. But what, the what, Patriots didn't. But they, they, they always have a workhorse running back. Hmm. They have a stable. It's normally James White. It'll be a James White. Or, 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 or last year was Sony Michelle in the Super Bowl. When we won, when, 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 when the Eagles won the Super Bowl, as much shit as we talk about Nick Foles, LeGarrette Brunt was doing a lot of, like, you need a running back. So I, I, I personally think that that's just a way for owners to get out of paying running, paying running backs. backs. Yep. Um, but who's the last time? When's the last time they had like a high paid running back? We're we, we, we gonna talk about that in, in, in a moment. Reason? But I, but I want, I, I, David, I, David Johnson. I want to ask Zeke. Is he right or wrong? Now, I want to break down two more things. Technically, the Cowboys could, and I, I hate Franchise how things I, I hate Franchise. how things work out like this, but they could have the rights to Zeke for the next four years because he still literally he still has two years on his contract, and they could franchise him for two years. So that's it's, trash. The franchise is trash. Which you might trash. as well just give him that four year deal. Why would you give exactly just to save it, save all this, give him front, give him four year deal? So so so, what are your thoughts? What are, I mean, anytime is bad news for the. Uh, for this Cowboys is great for me because I like to laugh at all the Cowboys fans. But I think I think ultimately going to end up happening. They might end up trading Zeke. Just they sound Alfred Morris. They sound Alfred sound Morris. Alfred Morris. And he, I mean, for Alfred Morris, he did play with them two years ago. He had a thousand yards. Yeah, that's, that's average four point three yards a carry. Yeah, four, exactly. I mean, I got a four point three yard running behind, running behind them, a huge run, uh, lineman. But I think they might end up trading him uh, just for saving how to pay him. Yeah. It is a lot of I, it's it's a truth in your statement about the workhorse uh, running backs, but you could find them anywhere. Yeah, I I just I don't I don't agree with that you can find them anywhere. I dig the running back by need, committee. You, you can have three that equals to Zeke. I I just I don't believe that. I think you need a prominent running back. Like if we look at the teams that were in the Final Four. In the, in the NFL last year, the Patriots and the Chiefs. One of the big ga uh, gaping holes in the Chiefs was that Kareem Hunt wasn't there. They didn't have that running back. If you look at Darryl the Williams played all right. Who? Darryl Williams. I mean, Damian Williams. He was okay. But like you said, he was okay. He wasn't that workhorse. They got their ass bounced out. And, and, and so it's D Ford. That wasn't, that wasn't office for the default. It was a whole, uh, uh, there are many factors. If they'd have had Kareem Hunt, they might have been up two touchdowns at that time. Mm. They might have been able to control the, the to control the clock in a, in, a, in a different manner. But I just don't see. You see the Saints, Alvin Kamara, Ty Gar, Ty Gurley. Like I don't see. You know, teams that had these mediocre running backs, the Bills, the. I mean, look at look at the way look at the difference Le'Veon Bell look at the difference Le'Veon Bell made. You know, James Conner is no slouch. But he's not that elite running back. He they, was they, he was injured a little bit at the end. Regardless of, the season, of what he he's because he's not but that elite. Like I said, back. when's the last time you had a Super Bowl winning team that had a high paid running back? Maybe not high paid, but the talent was there. I think I think running backs have been it's fucked been, on their contract. Le'Veon been time. to the Super Bowl? No, Le'Veon ain't been to the Super Bowl. No, no. the Steelers have not been to the Super Bowl so why, in forever. Why does that you should know that. I just think, I mean, once again, the Steelers have not been to the Super Bowl I don't know. since '09. I'm trying to think. No, but like, 
Go in the last the 10 years, like, no, what I teams mean, won the Super Bowl that didn't have Ray, Ray Rice? How many times Adrian Peterson missed the Super Bowl? Yeah, he was paid then. Ray was paid before he got – Ray was Ray Rice like, was paid before he got – How many times had the top – Yeah, exactly, because he's smart. He got paid first. Not many, but they might not – Yeah, Ty Gurley. Maybe not the top, but they've been – they had elite or team. okay. You know, back in the day, the Jerome Rams. Bettis. Jerome Bettis was paid. He wasn't. Uh, Sean he was Alexander, he wasn't. Yeah, Sean yeah, Alexander yeah, was paid. Sean Alexander was paid. That was his last season for a reason. Like he was like he was. But he was with him the whole time. Man, he was on the back end when they went to the Super Bowl. I mean, Marshawn Lynch. Marshawn. They had they had the elite the, the teams. Terrell teams. Davis. They had the, elite. Teams, but the running back. The Seahawks had elite defense. I, I really think. Like, I really think that they're really they, they going to no trading Zeke for real. I think they're going to no trading so they want to pay him. And also, because also you know, all the other, all the stuff that come off the field with Zeke, like who? Yeah, like they, uh, they was hit on first take. No, not first take. It was uh, undisputed. Was so who, who takes him? If, if oh, oh if, somebody if, take him. If they look at Baltimore, and, hey, we'll take him. And as special as Kamara is. <laughs> Ingram got a ship, like you know what I'm saying. Like he can get it done too. Like, like that's he, he's a he's is a, Kamara considered better? No, I think they. Nah, I Kamara think, is I definitely think, considered better. I yeah, Kamara, 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 you know Ingram ain't no slouch. But, yeah, but, no slouch. Huh? Ingram ain't no He's slouch. not a star running back neither. He's just he's like. Work. But also, you, you can put Kamara in uh, Kamara Kamar. How is his last name? You can put him Alvin Kamara. You can put him, you can put him uh, on the outside, have him run routes. Now that's why all the receive or running backs are doing receivers just like it be hybrids. So you can either pay me like a receiver and put me in the backfield, or I'll be a running back. I'll be a hybrid. But his, do you think Zeke will sit out the season? They gonna pull his card. He he, Why? He I, I think he, he should because, and it really depends on. I think if Jay Black Beyond come back on and, and he ball out like he, I think a lot of running backs gonna start doing that, taking the season off. See, but here's the difference. Here's the difference. Le'Veon, Le'Veon was already paid. Yeah, Le'Veon was still, Le'Veon got paid last year. Le'Veon was already paid. Zeke ain't got paid yet. So it's, it's like it's, years, it's a hard million. it's a harder hit on your pocket when you ain't when you getting and I know you must be the good song. and he and mind you, you mind you he missed game checks for the past two years six six, six games and four games yeah, yeah. And listen, then, he uh, probably don't spend his money right anyway probably not nah I ain't, no, I ain't trying to cut nobody but like I, I, yeah, no I, I mean yes yeah, sure. but uh, <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. No, I think <laughs> no, but they're they're all teams. So give me give me give me three teams just quickly. Give me three teams we'll that you could consider. He would make a a meet. Of course, a running back of his talent would make an impact anywhere. But three teams that need a running back where he can make an immediate impact. Uh, Miami. Miami. Well, I got King Drake. Buccaneers. Bucks. Oh, give me your three teams. Let me see. I know Bucks. I get, Baltimore. I'll get yours. I like I like the Bucks because the Bucks do need. Of course, back. you like Baltimore. Exactly. Would you want to take the Eagles? I would, but I would. I mean, we kind of got a running back stable right now, so it's kind of at the same token. Like, and I would. I wanted the, the Eagles to draft him, so I'm not. The Jets got a running oh, back. Oh, they got Le'Veon. They got Le'Veon. 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 No, uh, no, the Lions. Who? They had no running back. Matt Stafford had a running back since Reggie Bush. <laughs> so Detroit, Baltimore, and Tampa. Craig, give me your three real quick. The, the Falcons. I, I will tell you. Actually, no, not the Falcons. But uh, I will tell you, Detroit has Carryon Johnson, who actually had a pretty nice season last year. Carryon Johnson, Ezekiel Elliott. Carryon Johnson contract or Ezekiel Elliott contract? Oh. Ah. <laughs> 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 but I say uh, the Seahawks, the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And the Packers. All right, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just throw team. I'm gonna just throw I'm gonna throw three teams out there because I I think y'all I think y'all y'all might have been members of the Cowboys back in the '90s because y'all might be smoking dope if y'all think that Jerry Jones is gonna trade Zeke in the NFC. I don't see that happening at all. Who the AOC really is running? Chargers. Chargers don't they? Chargers. No. If they don't trade the Bills. Oh, oh yeah, that's Buffalo. always that's always running back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's where you go for your career to die. The, the Bills need need a running back for sure. No, they got shady. Yep. They still got shady. 
The wow. Bills. Yeah. <laughs> and that's no disrespect to Shady. Shady, my man. Shady just in a he in the twilight of his career though. So he ain't shady no more. He just leaving. I mean, he's just uh, Lashawn. No, he's still shady. He's still. He's, uh, like, he's, I wouldn't have been mad if the Eagles got him, but he's still oh, he's older. Zeke is like twenty six. Like, who Houston got? Like, who that's Houston? what I say. Houston. 23. Houston don't have no running back. Yeah, you know I'm they saying. Got Le- like, Lamar Miller played well last year. Houston. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? Shady, you got Billy. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> Houston. I mean, he played all right. And I mean, although I just talked shit to y'all about an NFC team, I, I definitely know I know he wouldn't do this, but I'm gonna just say the 49ers. 49ers. I want to see Jerry Jones trade him to a rival like the 49ers oh, yeah. historically, like them. The but, but but the 49ers. Yeah, the 49ers Jimmy bro, G. Bro, when it comes to Jimmy. running backs, bro, it be next man up for real, bro. Like, I, dude, even I the, understand. The Packers I, I went and got a receiver to fill they void. They, they haven't been to the Super Bowl since. I understand what y'all saying. It's a team. Thing. But you need team is you not a need league. a strong so so you win the game in the trenches you win you win the game in the trenches you need elite defense offensive and defensive line and then you need to be able to control that clock you Jacksonville when it got what they got with just Fournette like it yeah. had an elite defense at the but time Fournette, but it was like you keep you keep Fournette mentioning elite defenses too. and I'm not knocking any elite defense you you, you mentioned but. If you the elite defense, any elite defense you name, I'm gonna give you a running back right with them. They go hand in hand. It's they like they the peas in a pot. You know what I'm saying they like you 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 talk about the Bears. You know what I'm saying and a great Jordan defense. Hart, you know what I'm saying. Jordan, uh, no, I'm gonna talk about 85 Bears. Oh, you know Walter. What I'm saying? Like Walter Payton was there. If you talk about, I'm just saying great defenses. I'm just saying great defenses and running back. Like they go, Moore, they bro, go with, with 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 the Bears defense. They could have had anybody out there. Dog. No, though. I, you no, not anyone. You still need a powerful back that can that can but control. But we also the we also not gonna sleep. We not gonna sleep like Jimmy Man was was decent too. Though. I respect all. I respect that. I re, I hear that. You gotta have. You gotta at least have somebody like who Call is them. decent at quarterback too. That's why the Jaguars didn't win because Blake Bortles trash. Like if 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 Jacksonville had that team with Nick Foles or Carson Wentz, whichever one, because they interchangeable clearly. But whichever <laughs> one, they probably would have beat the Patriots. Hey, say that one time for the people in the back. I just don't understand how cats who were in the Super Bowl twenty eight to three. Like my nigga, I love you, but your team was up twenty eight to three. Y'all can't say shit about. To no Eagles fans Like y'all can't Listen And hey. We have played y'all In the oh, last man. We have played y'all Five times in the last Four years And have And our record is Four and one against y'all We and have set y'all, y'all home and y'all In the playoffs That quarterback twice. Go to Jacksonville All that's well and fine We have knocked y'all Out of the playoffs twice that's So when y'all address us Y'all call us Sensei Sensei <laughs> Eagles You know what I'm saying until y'all whack ass quarterback, <laughs> Matt Ryan. Until y'all, until y'all get rid of. Uh, Shut up! We, don't we you bring see, him. We gonna don't, see you bring, don't you bring him? We gonna see he y'all, see y'all get rid of the No, 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 no. no. See don't, you be, don't you be a hater. He has a ring, okay? He, bro. I don't care how he got it. Got a ring. No, okay, how he got it? Y'all have a ring. Hey, intro quarter, intro receiver from Alabama that got blow leads and losing championship game like Alabama just did this past year. The one that was triple coverage. I don't care what happened. The one that dropped the ball in South Philly. Oh, oh, yeah. Him you ain't going to make it out yeah. of here. You catch this yeah. ball. Yeah. Yeah. Don't talk about Butterfingers, Alshon Jeffries. I remember Julio twice in the end zone. Two yeah. straight years. I don't care what his ranking is. The ranking is fine. When it comes down to you getting on that. Had, yeah. No, I'm cool. We got a ring. We got a ring. <laughs> we don't want these but mediocre players. But he's still the brains. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, a whole other sport. I was six. <laughs> about history, I was six. The Phillies won in 2008. We won since yeah, then. Yeah, Baltimore won 2000 and 2012. What are you but, about to say? But the history of the league shows you that running backs are interchangeable, bro. I don't think the history of the league shows that. It does. Bro. I don't think it shows us Priest that. Priest Holmes go down. You got Larry Holmes. Jamal Lewis go down. You got uh, Priest Holmes. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's, it's but like these are interchangeable. Bro. Name, the name teams who have won the Super Bowl. I dig all this. Name a team who won the Super Bowl with an elite running back. I think every team. Marshall Falk. Bro, we got how many Emmett. Super Bowls? Emmett. About 50? I mean, but, Ed, Edwin. Oh, I'm not. Um. Corey, did, did Corey Dillon win one? No, yeah, Corey Dillon. With the Patriots. Yeah. Corey Dillon won a drum. Yeah. I'm talking about last year. Oh, let, oh. Time show. What? You said what for last year? Bro, and then right, he's still We're going to run them down. You had the Patriots, we know, like, what, what they did with Sony Michelle. Is he elite? 
Who? It's Sonny Michelle Elite. No. No, he all right, though. He's cool. Like, an uh, interchangeable bet. Like, they can replace him. Because if, if, if Jeremy Hill didn't get hurt. And I, they, you know, you know, I'm, a Georgia, I'm, I'm saying, a Georgia boy. They offense, system, yeah, like, like, he, Michelle could be, could be elite on another team. Chill, H. That's the problem. Dallas used Zeke so much. Chill, H. Come at relief. Hold up, though. I'm, hold up, though. We're going to talk some running backs. Okay, so y'all, y'all even even if y'all take the uh, – the Patriots. Patriots shit. Okay, the Eagles. They had Legarrette Blunt and Jay. Ajayi. Is he elite? Who? Legarrette Blunt been on one year contract for the last six Legarrette years. Legarrette Blunt got four rings. So Listen, I'm, I'm not. I, he's not elite though. In that position, he's it, interchangeable. That's why he keep getting one year contracts. He's a Z caliber. He not a Z caliber, and, and but I he's a big. He's a big. But he's not he's an elite black. running back. Okay, I'm. Oh, okay, all right. He, he, all right. He, he, all, he all, that's all good. Then, then we got the Seahawks with with uh, Marshawn. Marshawn. You got the Giants with Tiki Barber. No, Tiki elite. Barber, no, 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 not the tail end. Giant Tiki was there for one of the Super Bowls. Yeah, no, it was. Uh, it was a Mark Bradshaw. Yeah. For both of them? Right, right. Tiki Amon Bradshaw. Right, he was at the first one. Tiki was at the first one. Nah, he wasn't. Was he, he wasn't. Oh, he, retired he retired early. He retired a year. He retired a year. One day, but his brother, 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 brother wouldn't stay. Well, the year before. The year before, retired. Tiki retired. So okay, Amon so Amar Bradshaw. The one, and the hold over was straight hand. Brandon Jacobs. Brandon Jacobs and Amar Bradshaw. Reggie Facts. Facts. He's not elite. Reggie Bush, yeah. Adrian no. James. Reggie Bush is not elite. That's, no, you just said I said, Reggie, I said Reggie Bush. I said Reggie Bush. Oh, elite college Ray, player. Ray Rice, yeah. look, Ray Rice is in there. One, one of the two, but I think Ray Rice is in there. Don't be disrespectful, Ray Rice. You want you just skip over everything? No, Ray Rice. Ray Rice. He just skip. He went to Arizona. Ray Rice. Ray Rice. He went to Giants. Ray Rice. Hell, he wasn't. He ain't sleeping. He went to Giants. Adrian James. You went. You went. Everybody was skipping us. Yeah, you went. You went. I was gonna. I was gonna give y'all credit later on down the line. You know what I'm saying? Jamal Lewis. Hey, hey, why you give us so quickly? No, I said. He said a quarter. You need a quarterback or a running back. I said, yeah, I'll take that. I'm saying. So we gave up. Steve, but he's a. No, I still. I still have given. He really up. skipped over. He wanted everybody else to skip over Ravens you, on purpose. I still think you need a workhorse. You need a workhorse running slick. back. I think that. But you got to be a workhorse. Yeah, Ray Rice. I'm they, they are. Those are anomalies. I'm talking about in the history of the game. It's not all. It's not elite so running back. I don't mean elite. I don't mean elite. You need a work. You don't need no interchangeable shit. It's those are it, bro. People you name are interchangeable, bro. And that season they weren't interchangeable. Bro, though. when you say Legarrette Blunt, Ajahi is getting just as many carries in that playoff. He wasn't. I'm gonna tell you now. If, if the Cowboys, <laughs> if the Cowboys let Zeke hold out and they go pick up Jay Ajahi in free agency, they gonna have the same season. No, they don't. They gonna have the same season. I mean, it like sounds Zeke, good. But Zeke we, is better than him. I will never, ever, ever, ever say J and Jai and Zeke are even on the same level. Who was Minnesota's running back after Adrian Peterson left? I mean, right. Uh, buddy from Georgia Southern? Oh, no. uh, McKinnon? Hey, he was all right, though. He's all right. But, he, but he's, <laughs> but he's, in, but he's in San Francisco and now. The, and they ain't done nothing, though. I mean, uh, I, I said we. Cordell th- Patterson? No, the one who played for the Saints now. Oh, Latavius Murray. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. They ain't these nothing. people are interchange running back by committee type niggas. But I, all I'm saying is the teams you naming, they haven't done, they haven't sniffed the Super Bowl. The teams you name, well, Baltimore, had, it's, had the teams you name Edwards. had mediocre running backs, bro. Like they, I ain't gonna say, ain't gonna say they they're good. Mediocre. I mean, they're good. They had a good collection. Yeah, they good. They're nice. They had a good state. They're not. They're not the top paid. The top eat, uh, uh, the elite. Like they're not like because. Which was Sonny Michelle? I hear all that. And 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 you, we we named Ty Gurley, but I'm, they had an all star team outside of the, outside of the, But Ty Gurley was that workhorse though. He they was the MVP. The, like, they have a good. They have a they have a good quarterback. They have an elite so, defense. Okay, like, I'm gonna just end it off on this. Why y'all talk about what the Rams did without Ty Gurley? When Ty Gurley went down, what did the Rams do? They won with CJ Anderson. They won the Super Bowl. Not Super Bowl. Oh, okay. That's a, like, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. For you, for you, for you. The coach also got out coached because you didn't no, have your workhorse no, running no. back. No, that's not the case. That's not the case. No, to be honest, what actually with really? the Rams? With, no, with the I'm, Rams. I'm confused. I know no, y'all no. play football, and I'm no, quite with, sure like with the, the with scheme the Rams, is to control the, the clock. You don't control the I mean, clock without a workhorse running back. Also, the Rams' problem was to no a little known fact. If Cooper Cup didn't get hurt, the Rams season probably would be different. 
To be honest, it's a lot of ills, I, but you can't just say because Ty Gurley didn't play that that's how that's why they shit just went down. That's not the case. CJ Ellison did good throughout the playoffs. He's not he Ty. Win. He's not Ty Gurley though. Everybody doesn't win, dog. But I'm saying, oh, like, um, yes, bro. Like, what are we talking about, bro? Well, we're gonna talk about no. your team for a moment. We're gonna talk about the Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson. Action. Lamar Jackson, Jackson has a big season ahead of him. Some new what weapons: is, Hollywood Brown, you know of course, it. Mark Ingram. You know it. How much pressure is Lamar Jackson under this upcoming I season? I don't really say a, a second year quarterback in his first year fully started is under a whole bunch of pressure. I was about to say, because this is another quarterback in your division that's under a lot of pressure in Baker. So, so there's a difference. Year. See, they got a whole lot of hoopla. See, that's the only difference. They got a, that's that's them bring all that they hoopla to them. So no, go, go ahead, go ahead, Craig. Go ahead. Go ahead. What you gonna say, Craig? Well, honestly, I, w- I agree with you. It's oh, because hey, that's the first time. I, this is the first up, time on the show. It's because. <laughs> The Browns been running their mouth all offseason. Yeah, they've been running their mouth. They got a whole bunch of people who run their mouth and don't do nothing. Odell ain't did nothing since he came into the league in terms of winning. But what Lamar Jackson, what is I'm about to say don't understand. I'm saying he do nothing. Uh be disrespectful. Uh no, it's not a it's not a big it's not a big season. Like if like three, four years, yeah, but it's his first full season starting. And he had a whole a whole new squad pretty much. On they mouth side. right. Chairs that they ass can't cash. Exactly. Hey, I got think boy put on some weight. He did. He said he I put hope on. So. He I said hope he, so. he said himself he put on twelve. Yeah, we, but let's see because because he, he brittle. He said he put on twelve to fifteen. But, hey, we were talking about running backs. The Bengals got the best running back in the AFC North. <laughs> Nigga smoking dope. In the AFC North. <laughs> so uh, Jay Black, I know it's his birthday. That's why we I know his birthday. Just that's why, that's why we dope. gonna be a wild what, song. What, what, what is the expectations that you foresee in Lamar Jackson? How many how many wins do you see the Ravens possibly picking up this 10. season? Okay. I say, I say ten. So a po- postseason berth as well. Yes, we are making the play. the Kings of the that's North. That's enough to win the AFC North. That's enough to win the AFC North. We're gonna win the AFC North again. So the AFC hey, North. The, I know the defense yeah, is not gonna look it. like he did last year. But you know it's possible. You see, but you know, Earl, Earl, Earl of course, Thomas you, you, you lose C.J. Mosley, you pick up Earl Thomas. So, yeah, like, so, uh, oh so Terrell Suggs was on his way out anyway. And now he went to the, he went home. Arizona, so I, I ain't gonna trip on that. But I think the office, I think the office really gonna show, gonna carry the defense a little bit this year. It's gonna be, a, it's gonna be the table gonna turn. How you know? many, how many touchdowns to interception ratio? And do you foresee him having a lot of rushing touchdowns? Of course, he's gonna lose, use his legs a lot. He definitely uses. I don't want him to get the the seventeen attempts like he was. Maybe like like Vic was saying, uh, maybe ten to twelve. It's not bad. I can take okay. that. Okay. I don't need the seventeen, the eighteen, the twenty. Running? Yeah, running. I don't need. I don't need all that because he ain't gonna last. But three years, if he's running twenty five times a game. So I say between ten to twelve rushing attempts a game, I'm cool with that. Okay. Now some of those, some of those you gonna have the you know the uh, ad lib play he might break off. I won't trip on that. I'm talking about design runs. Ten to twelve, I'm cool with that. So he doesn't take a lot of big hits though. He don't. He don't take a lot of big. He, he know how to protect himself. I will say that he know how to slide. He ain't like Robert Griffin. But he ain't trying to get killed like but hold on nada. So and, I mean Griff was on y'all team, so he might have even been giving him exactly. a little heads up on like, yo, like, I wasn't. Yeah, yeah. Don't be like me. I have our rookie of the year. Next season, I told him, I told my ACL. And little stuff like that helps. Right, so yeah, he, he gives himself up. He runs out of bounds. Exactly, he, he gives himself up. So I say touchdown wise, I give him twenty five. Okay, we we'll go twenty five. See, see the fellow Ravens. So I go twenty five. Twenty five. He's gonna have some turnovers. I, I know that. So I say twenty five to seven, eight, seven uh, interceptions. Seven. He didn't have that many interceptions. Yeah, fumbles. Okay, I'm but he, he, but he had that many interceptions. I yeah. feel like he's he not gonna throw that many interceptions this year neither. Like just because and that they, won't be their game plan. They're definitely, gonna, they're definitely gonna run the ball with Mark Ingram and Gus Edwards. And, uh, Listen, we got running backs by committee, dog. Like, stable. it's gonna get you there with a top defense. And uh, and hey, you gotta, y'all won't be in the Super Bowl though. And we had a plethora, and we had, and we had a plethora, of, we, had a, we had a plethora of of, of, of quarterbacks' favorite person. Them running back by committees and that defense ain't getting y'all. But the thing Super is, Bowl. we also we also have a plethora of tight ends too. Quarterbacks' favorite friend. All these plethoras y'all got. Is not Rem- getting y'all look, remember, Super Bowl. remember you said the same it's stuff last recorded. year. I know you said so the same last year. I did say it last you year, and last y'all year. didn't get to the Super Bowl. I didn't see we y'all got the Super Bowl. But you said we were gonna make the playoffs, and we beat. And we won the division. Mm, y'all lucked up. See, now, week. now we lucked up. Right. Now we lucked y'all up. Y'all did luck up in the final right. week. Hey, Jay Black, Jay Black, Cincinnati ain't smelled a playoffs since I was two. 
Yeah, hey, bro, he one of them kids that be on the Xbox talking shit, getting their ass yeah, exactly. got 40. <laughs> Playing like, like, chill. You, hey, you, you still trying to live, uh, hold out hope for the red rifle. We're going to let the Bengals be. We're going to let the Bengals No, no, he want to hold out hope for the red rifle. Record this. Make sure this on record. The Bengals are going to be a wild card team. Yeah, they're going to be a wild card. That's cute. They're going to be a wild card. It'll be a wild card. It's a wild card. Uno. We'll talk it's about. We'll cute. talk about yeah. that soon. We're gonna take a brief break and then we'll be Stank joined. Bangles. Jess Craig is gonna come talk some baseball news, give us some updates on some Stank MLB Bangles. trades, it's possible World Series predictions, and a lot more. Stay tuned in. These Urban Times Live Hip Hop Daily present sideline stories. You be ought to be a